Hello guys, KP Chamino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch a Florida gar. It's not complicated because this fish is all over the place but the fish uh, looks really cool in my opinion. It's a little bit like uh, yeah, the design of a pike. I'm not sure that's, uh, that it's related to the pike but I'm going to show you guys how you need to fish. Like you guys know Halloween festival is done. And as the guys said, the developers, they're going to introduce gar in Florida, uh, Missouri and North Carolina. And that's what they did. And in Florida, they introduced, guess what, the Florida gar. So that's a good name for the right place, I always say. So I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch it. It's not complicated. So uh, when I came here, I was thinking a little bit I didn't want to use the Halloween bait, the rotten minnows, uh, the dead mice, because you cannot acquire them anymore. I thought you still could acquire them after the Halloween uh, festival, but that isn't true. So I only used bait that you can still buy at this moment. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys where I am at the moment. So I'm in Florida and I, I'm at the moment here, the floating tickets. And that's the place where you can catch the unique peacock bass so uh, what I did I just went with the setup uh, set up from Halloween car so uh, you guys already can see large cut bait because that's a gar uh, bait and let's go for the setup right away so I can show you guys so I'm just going here coming here with my Nero 450 uh, I'm using my Exterminator 5500, but this is really heavy uh, equipment that I'm using because the fish, the normal one, is only 2.5 kilograms. So that's not a lot of pulling that you need on your equipment. It's a very low in weight fish. I'm using the Brad 0.18. Uh, I'm using the sport floater because I like to fish with the sport floater. And I'm using the hook 2.0. And that works really well and the depth the depth that I use is the same depth that I used for the Halloween car and that's 60 centimeters so most of the time they eat almost at the surface that's what the fishing planet wiki said so that's why my depth is not that deep okay let's go have a look at my net uh, you guys will see I tried almost everything uh, and the Florida gar almost bites to everything. There is one major problem. Uh, they share a lot of bait with the butterfly peacock bass and with the large mount bass too. So uh, what I did was I tested the bait that was on the wiki like a shrimp. A shrimp works for the gar but right away I had the butterfly peacock. I used it the crankbait. For the guys that uh, like lure fishing crankbait works. There was a guy in chat that said I got a Florida gar on crankbait. But once again, the major problem with crankbait is butterfly peacock all the way. And to be honest, they attack that crankbait like, like idiots. It's every turn that you got like a butterfly peacock. So you need to throw a lot of times to get the Florida gar. Then I went for the large cut bait and the large cut bait is the only bait that the butterfly doesn't like. That I tested. Probably there is another bait, but large cut bait, I never got one bass with it, only Florida gar. So if you want only Florida gar, go with large cut bait. Otherwise you need to share and you need some RNG. Uh, the crawfish work too, but of course that's gold uh, bait. Gold bait, if you need that to get a normal fish, yeah, never mind, don't use it. It was just a test. Then the shiners work too. But of course, the same story with the shrimps. Uh, they share it with the trophy butterfly peacock bass. I got two trophies, but you can have a normal, of course, too. So that's a major problem, too. So if you want only gar here, use large cut bait. Okay, let's have a look at the experience, what this fish gives. Uh, it's not a lot. If you see that uh, it's only 32. Uh, with premium and 12 currency uh, so there is not a lot of experience there is not a lot of currency if you compare that with the butterfly peacock bass that is like the half of the weight 
he gives almost a double so i think the florida gar is here just to get it once and then you can get it away from your bucket list and that's it in my opinion i didn't get uh, a trophy uh, Flor de Gar, but they are in the game. I saw a couple of them in the, the channel. And what I see is that they are most of the time caught by a 4-0 hook and not a 2-0 hook. A lot of guys, they are just fishing on the unique uh, butterfly peacock and they got uh, sometimes a trophy Flor de, uh, Florida Gar in between so i think that you need a 4-0 hook to get the trophies but i'm not sure which time it is i fished today the whole day in a cloudy day and i didn't get one trophy uh, what i saw was that it's best to fish in the sweet hours of the day because uh, i was fishing until uh, nine o'clock and that's a sweet hour and then it was really slow on the car until four o'clock in the afternoon and that sweet hour again so try to fish in the sweet hour and you will be okay so that was it for my net uh, that was it for my setup now i'm going to show you guys really quick uh, where you need to fish i discovered three positions and that's not complicated because the the, the gar is all over the place so a position here is a good position so I got a couple of them over there. Here is a good position. That's the unique butterfly peacock position. And here is a good position too. So if you are uh, really close to lilies and stuff in the water, you can catch them. So that was all what I can say, uh, say about the Florida gar. Uh, if I get like a sweet time and a sweet uh, bait for the trophy one i will post it under this otherwise yeah have fun it's a new fish it's fun and uh yeah thanks for watching if you like the video give me a like if you like my channel please subscribe you help me a lot with it and otherwise thanks for watching and see you later guys bye bye